Hello, my name is Goran Lundqvist and today I'm going to show you how you can configure ServiceNow to redirect end users to different portals depending on which company they belong to. So let me share my screen. And we have like this and let me show you what I've done to the company field or record. So if I go into Azure, for example, I have added a field called portal where I can define which portal is this company related to. And it's also the portal that the end users will be re rejected to if they have Azure as a company. As you can see, it's a reference field to the SP portal page, nothing more than that. And ServiceNow had made it quite easy for us. They added a script include called SP entry page, where out of the box, they will redirect all end users when they logged in to this page here, the value you set here. And before you're doing this, you need to set two properties to get it to work. And just so you don't get fooled, you shouldn't use the semicolon on the value when you set it. So it should look like this instead, without the semicolon. So the only thing we actually need to change is the part here. So let's do that. So first we would like to, to get the user's company. And if that one has a value, we want to do something. So if it has a company, we would like to fetch that record and see if the portal has a suffix or get at the one. So let's do that. Let's go into the core com tiny table. And since we got the sysid and we only want to have one record, we can use the get and just put the sysid in like that. Then we don't have to use the, the query or the next code. So then we would like to say that this variable, if we find something in the field I made and we get into the URL suffix, which is the field name on the portal page or portal record. And then we should add some slash and I'll tell you a little bit about those soon. Just going to get the code here. And if you don't find anything, we want it to be the default one. The reason we're adding the slashes, as you can see they are here as well, is because further down, the returning a, a URL, etc., where they need the slashes to be there. So unless you want to change more stuff beneath, just have the slashes here as well. So, if we don't find any company, we want to send them to the default one. Like that. So this is pretty much the only thing we need to do. We get the user's company ID. If there is anything, we get the company record. We check if we have a suffix on the portal record. If there is, we get that one. Otherwise, we use the SP. Or if it doesn't have any all, we just redirect to the default one. So let's save it. And just for fun part, doing videos, there was a lot of stuff happening. As you can see, I've supposed to be doing this a few times before, but stuff happens. Phone rang, dog, dog start barking, etc. But let's go to the users and hope this is my last video for this stuff. Go to users. When we got two users, we got the Yo employee for Nightmare Company should hit the testing portal, and we got Yo's evil twin for the Acer Company. And I have nothing against Acer; it's just the evil twin. So let's test it. We'll hit, for instance, 
Normally, the end user perhaps have a SSO or something that will handle redirection, but I don't have that connected to my developer instance, so here we go. So let's be the evil twin. Oops. Should hit one called K17, I guess. The portal I made in knowledge. And as you can see, evil show twin got redirected to that one. And let me just restart it. Since there is a lot of sessions, etc. going on, it might screw up my testing. And we log in as the normal Yo employee. And we now should go end up in a portal called testing. So there we go. And uh, the only thing I had to do was, where is the script include? Add the system properties and add this little thing here. Now, depending on what kind of conditions you have, it might be more complex, might be less complex. But this is an easy way to handle this. So thanks for your time and uh, hopefully I'll see you around. Bye.